Hello friends, Wolfgore here, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We are on the morning of day 11, and we've got a very important mission today. Uh, but before we get to that, let me just catch you up on what I did over the course of the evening while you guys were gone. I went ahead and started digging out the floor in our horde base, and laid down a few more frames, uh, so nothing major there. I also popped down into the mine for just a minute, and dug up a little bit of stone. And all of that stone and clay we are going to use to craft out some more cobblestone because we are getting low. And we're going to craft out 1,000 pieces of a cobble stone. Let's throw that back in there. These pipe bombs also finished. That should be more than enough for tonight. But we are going to need to craft out some more gunpowder very soon, but we can worry about that tomorrow. Uh, so the main thing that I want to accomplish today is to make 8,000 coin or 8,000 minus whatever we have here, so probably around 6,000, so that we can go back up to the Snow Trader and buy that Crucible. Now, we do have until day 13 to accomplish that, but I want to get that done as soon as possible because Crucibles are hugely impactful, and uh, I, I want it. So, rather than running around doing a bunch of quests and trying to be super efficient all around, we are just going to focus on looting as much as we possibly can today. So why don't we start with this house right over here. And we're just going to try and get, let's say, three POIs looted today. And make as much money as we possibly can, as quickly as we possibly can. I will still take the time to dig up cobblestone and cement, just because it is such an important thing for our base. But we are not going to go for ultra efficiency. We are going to go for ultra profit. What's up, player? You can go back to sleep. It's okay. Ow! Jesus fucking Christ! It scared the hell out of me, you asshole! Hey, some more mushroom spores. That's cool. We can put those on the wall at home. Let's eat this food because I forgot to eat and drink before we left. That shouldn't be a big deal, though. Uh, it looks like we're gonna have to jump down here, so let's pull out the pump shotgun because... Uh, I'm guessing this is gonna get sketchy. Try and find somewhere to hide, because that's a lot of hissing. <laughs> Just one? I gotta get used to the shotgun. Been playing with the AK this whole time. Gotta adjust. Anybody in here? No. Why don't we just kind of clear this out real quick? Whoa! And, uh... Once all the noise stops, we'll start looting, and then we can just focus on that without any more jump scares. Fucking cornmeal trying to waste my time taking up inventory slots. Holy shit, the uh, that floor gives out. Well, we're back to wrenching kitchen appliances for the parts. You love to see it. Right, the floor gave out in here, so this must be the way to go, I'm assuming. This is awkward. Let me in! Hi. Alright. We can deal with this. Uh, maybe? Oh, screw it, let's just be brave. She dead. Oh, that's a fast boy! And shotguns are definitely not the best weapon for military armor, but you know what? Didn't even matter. Didn't even take a hit. Alright, we got all the fluffy stuff looted. Let's see what's in the big boxes. Uh, decent mods, shotgun parts there. That should be our level 5 pump shotgun today. That came together a lot faster than I was expecting. The stars are really aligning for us this playthrough, which, you know, I ain't gonna complain about that. Shamway food's gross. Never anything good in those. And a shotgun messiah. Bunch, <laughs> bunch more parts, more shotgun parts. I cannot believe it is, like, this early in the game and we've already got so much good stuff going for us. That is just fantastic. I mean, it's day 11 and we're gearing up to get a crucible today or tomorrow. That is unreal. Mark that one, and let's move on to the next. 
This place looks as good as any, so let's just jump into here. Hello. Sit down. Hello. Oh, that's a mo. Right. Let's be a bit more careful here. <laughs> that was sick. I'm sorry, but that was sick. Caught him midair and sent him flying. Oh, you'll love to see it. Wake up, sleepyheads. I'm in a hurry. Oh, we got a book, find more junk in loot, which means a higher quantity. That is fine by me. Not sure what they mean specifically by junk, but hey man, I'll take it. Let's eat this food while we're at it. Because I'm a bit hungry. Another fucking cornmeal. Alright, let's see what is upstairs. Nothing too crazy downstairs, but, you know, we're, uh, we're making money, slowly but surely. Making good time as well. It's not even 10 o'clock yet, and we're already halfway... Oh, finally! A treasure map. Treasure! Let's freaking go, dude! Oh my gosh, treasure maps can be insanely lucrative. You can also find them on, like, day one. And I've gotten close to 10k from a treasure map before, and I've gotten as little as like 3k. So they're a bit inconsistent, but hey, even a low ball treasure map right now is an excellent, excellent find. So as soon as we finish this place up, we are going to head wherever that map tells us to go. And between that and whatever we find in this place, and well, all the stuff we have ready to sell, that should be enough to get our crucible today, which is freaking awesome. Holy shit. Uh. Oh, man, you do not want to get stuck next to a big fat tourist like that. Those guys hit really hard. As you can see, he just three shot that door. Uh, fighting him indoors, not the ideal situation. Whew. That actually got my heart going a little bit, which I like. I like that feeling of I can die at any time. It's what makes this game fun to me. Oh, we got another book. Craft exploding arrows and crossbow bolts. You know, we might we might play with that a bit. That does sound kind of fun. What's the plan here? Are you supposed to go out the window? No, there's nothing to walk on. Maybe you just go through the wall? Oh, hey, a safe. Hey, first try. Uh, we can scrap that for the parts, take a little ammo and some more parts. It looks like we've got a sleepy boy right there. Let's give him a nice warm awakening. I am not sure how you're intended to move through this POI. I'm a little confused, so we're just going to bust right through the wall. No fucks to give about that. So I guess you're supposed to come in... Oh, hi. Come in here means you're supposed to come from over here. Sorry, I know I'm wasting time, but I'm just curious what they were going for here. Okay, so we did clear this room. That's where we fought the tourist. You're supposed to go out this window. Up here, over here. Gotcha. Hey, rude. Barbed wire. And up into the attic we go. I'm sure we've got nice, warm... Welcome! Awaiting us. We're fine. We're fine. Don't even stress. Oh, the shit. It's a hot candy. Oh, back up. That went exactly as I planned. Oh, looks like we got a weapons bag behind this plug. Let's bust this out real quick. Big money. Uh, some parts and some mods. Yeah, shit, I'll take that. And for the main loot, we got a big ammo pile. And, oh, another custom fittings mod. Fantastic. Uh, do I have my lucky looter goggles on? I do not. I probably should have had those on since the start of the day. Got some level 3 iron boots. Those might very well be an upgrade. Got a level 2 AK, but that's probably not going to get used. But that is all right. We got a lot of good stuff in here. Let's... Get out to the motorcycle and decide what we're going to do next. Okay. 
I think we are going to head home, get organized, get all the stuff that we're going to sell together, then go over and do that buried treasure map. And then we'll head up north, assuming we have the time and the coin, and buy our crucible. Level 1 steel boots or level 3 iron boots. I think we're going to switch to the iron boots because it'll give us another modifier slot. And uh, I want that. Our buried treasure is to the southeast. And our destination is to the northeast, but that's fine. We're going to make it work. Uh, how full is our inventory? Not that bad. I think we're just going to head straight there with all of this stuff on us. And uh, from there, we can head straight north and go get our crucible. Uh, we're entering the desert biome, uh, which is useful because when we are at the point where we need to start mining oil shale in bulk. This is the only place where oil shale spawns. It's an ore node just like the other four. Nitrate powder, iron, lead, and coal. It's the fifth one, but it only spawns in the desert, and you use it to make gasoline, once oil. Let's check what's in this little sportsy bag. Nothing of note. All right, let's just get to digging right quick. Uh, I also love coming to dig in the desert because you get crushed sand as well as clay while you dig. Also, the uh, ground here has only 180 HP, whereas in any other biome it has 200 or 250. So once you get to that point where you can one-shot, you know, like a, a block of ground, oh god, it feels so sweet. You can dig around so fast like a little mole. However, we're not at that point yet, but it's still is enjoyable to come dig in the desert. My goodness, I guess our luck finally ran out when it comes to digging up treasure, because this is taking forever. The good news is we're at least getting quite a lot of crushed sand and clay. And there she blows, laddie. Let's get that picked. Come on, baby. Work with me. I've only got so many lockpicks. That's what's up. Almost 7,000 coin and a bunch of ammo. I think that'll do just fine. Let's get out of here. Oop, I'm all turned around. I thought I was heading northeast, and I am not. Let's, uh, let's actually go up to our map and do what I normally do and mark all the traders. And, you know, we're not actually close enough for that mark to show up, but I think as long as we head pretty much straight north, we're gonna, we're gonna find our way, so let's just do that. And we are gonna take a slight detour, because through a wonderful twist of fate, we have ended up right back where we started. And you remember what I said in episode one? It's the Shrine of Beginnings. One day we're going to roll by on our vehicle and be like, oh, remember how cute and pathetic we used to be? <laughs> Look at how far we've come. Ah, I love this game. And here we are. Let's deal with this big boy real quick. Oh, God. Oh, you're so scary. Die, please. And here we are at the trader. Let us go get our crucible. Keep your distance. What's up, you sack of shit, Hugh? How are you, man? Let me just eat these sugar butts real quick and let us get down to business. And we got 13k from all of that, more than enough for what we need. Let's grab this crucible, oh baby. And you know what? Time to move on. Shut up. And you know what? We've actually got 5,000 left over, which is just enough to buy that punchy uh, auto turret. What's it called? Auto sledge turret? Well, it's a little thing that you put down on the ground, and it kind of punches things that walk close to it, specifically zombies. And we're going to be using that in our horde base. So why don't we stop by Jens on the way home 
and get that all purchased up. Hi, Jen. The name's Jenny, but you can call me Dr. Jen. I know who you are. Let's uh get rid of this buried supplies quest. I'm thinking we don't need any more clay right now. Let's try and get something a little bit more. You looking to earn interesting. some interesting? This is. Where is... There it is. Robotic Sledge. Absolutely wonderful. And we still have those Sugar Butts active, so that's going to reduce the cost a little bit. Which is very nice. Uh, I think I'll grab this level 1 armor pocket mod. I'm not sure if we can find a spot for that at the moment. But I'd rather have it and not need it. I'll need it and not have it. Let's get home, get organized. And we're probably going to go out and mine a little bit of iron so we can get some of that cooking down and start making some steel. Boop. So normally I would advise putting down your sledge turret like this until you have a way to utilize it in your larger base, but as we are benefiting so much from the zombies piling up right here, we're actually just going to leave this guy in storage until we can find his get his permanent home ready. All right, let us go dig up some iron and some stone because that is what we are really hurting for at the moment. And with this one skill point that we got today, let's come down to mother load and get rank five and we will get minor 69er rank five very, very soon. Oop, sounds like we got some friends. Hi buddy, could you not? Kind of busy. All right, we were able to pick up a respectable 3,338 iron. I am very happy with that. Let's turn on the old 4G Forge. Let's actually go for a little bit more, like 20 minutes. That seems good. We picked up a decent amount of stone, too. We got about 1,000 stone, so let's pull out our sand. And some of this here cement and make some of that there concrete. Getting a little bit lower than I would like on wood. Let's go ahead and chop down some trees as we don't have anything super pressing that we need to be doing. That should be more than enough wood. We went from 400 up to 2800. That is very, very nice. Just gonna get this rock out of here. I can't have enough stone right now and it's just kind of bothering me. It's too close to my home. So one thing that we are definitely lacking right now is nitrate powder. We don't have any that I've seen particularly close to home. I'm really hoping that one of these mines, be it our iron mine, coal, or stone mine down here, is going to open up some nitrate powder. That would be very nice. It's just hard to find the time to go mining when you're on a Horde Every Night series, let alone when you're posting it on YouTube. Most people don't want to just watch you <laughs> sit there and mine for a full episode. So yeah, nitrate powder is probably going to be top priority for tomorrow. And we'll try and get some more coal to match however much nitrate powder we get so we can get a whole bunch of gunpowder cooking down. We'll grab some plant fiber and just try and get a ridiculous amount of pipe bombs moving. In addition to that, we're going to want to do some more work to the base. This concrete is starting to stack up quite a bit, so we need to start using that. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing that right now. And let's pull out what explosives we have for tonight and deal with this horde. Right, boys, it's official. They're gonna have to make this game harder. It's just, just too good. I mean, don't get me wrong. We've had a lot of stuff working for us this playthrough. Things have, things have been on our side, and I'm very happy about that. But man, these explosives! Oh, they're so good. We are just on top of it. Uh, I'm gonna have to consider turning up the XP multiplier again. Try and get some. Uh, Get some scarier situations going on sooner rather than later because I am just feeling so, so good. Man, as 
effective as these pipe bombs are, and our whole strategy is overall, they just keep coming. They just keep coming. Is that it? Man, another one finished before 1 a.m.? Bro, we are killing it. Absolutely killing it. Alright, let's, uh, through those on. Yeah, let's check what's in the bags. We got some ammo and some water. A little coin, stuff to sell. More stuff to sell. Ooh, that's a lot of loot bags, and we just got another treasure map. Let's go ahead and read that. That's going to fill our bank account back up, hopefully. Other than that, nothing super impactful so far. Just a lot of water. Stuff we're going to sell. Ooh, level 2 steel legs. That's pretty cool. And frickin'. <clears throat> Get out of here. You're not welcome. And the last one. Uh, more food, more stuff to sell, more painkillers. Nothing wrong with that. Let's get all organized. Uh, we did get a level 2 hunting knife, which is kind of nice. Let's see, that still has a base of 5 block damage. But, you know what? It's a level 2, so I'm happy about it. Let's bring that down to the bar. Man, at this point, we can practically sustain our food just by what drops on Horde Knight. It's pretty ridiculous, actually. And we have level 5 leggings. That's a shame. Steel is so much better than scrap, but losing two mod slots... I mean, we could keep the bandolier mod, we'd be giving up the muffled connectors, which I don't care about, and one armor pocket. You know, honestly, I think we're fine. I think I'm just gonna scrap these for the steel parts. It gets us closer to the day when we get to craft a full set of level 5 steel armor. We're still actually looking pretty strong on explosives. This is still plenty for tomorrow's Horde Night, so not feeling as rushed, but we're still gonna focus on that tomorrow. We can get 84 more pieces of steel moving, and that's gonna eat up just about everything we mined earlier, which is just fine. That's a lot of steel. We got over 100 pieces now. Let's actually look into crafting a level 5 pump shotgun, because that's gonna make a significant difference. Although we don't have m the mods we want really to put in it yet, it's still in theory going to be better. So we need 45 forged steel, duct tape, plastic springs, and shotgun parts. On the steel, we'll have that in a minute. We've got everything else. So let's just let that cook down and I'll get the parts ready. We're actually super low on duct tape, so let's get some more of that crafting. And did I hit start? No, I did not. We can get bunch more glue crafting in our chem station. We have a ton of bones, 771. And we should have a bunch of murky water. That'll be plenty for now. Let's throw a little wood in there. Get 48 pieces of glue moving. Nine minutes, a little bit more wood. Take out this gunpowder while we're at it. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Forgot you can turn ladders into steel. That just burned through five of our steel. Uh, that's the one downside to using a nail gun, is you can accidentally upgrade things that you didn't intend to in one click. But really not the end of the world, it's just five steel. Alright, that signals the morning. I just, I started this, so I want to finish it before we call it an episode. Just want to get all the cobblestone on the workshop upgrading to concrete. And probably tomorrow, sometime, or tomorrow evening, we will upgrade all of this to reinforced concrete. Did I miss any blocks back here? I did. One and two and one, two, three. All right, there should be enough steel in the forge at this point. Perfect to get our level five pump a shotgun crafting down. And uh, yeah, I think that is going to do it for today's episode, guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I love your faces and I'll see you next time. Bye.